I don't see how anybody could honestly do what I do without considering the political implications of it. It's not about Republicans against Democrats. It's not about liberals against conservatives. The real struggle is political struggle of the people against the government. I'm not saying that, that any individual in the government is deliberately trying to take away our rights, but that's just the nature of the beast. And the way that the government gets more power in relation to us is to take away our freedom, because that's our power. Our power is our freedom. The government's power is to put us in jail, to take away our right to vote, to take away our right to free speech, because the, the less freedom, the less power we have, the more power the government has in relation to us. The government is not just trying to, to put bad people in jail. They're trying to keep their numbers up. The numbers mean money because the more prosecutions there are, the more prosecutors are required, the more cops are required. And I'm not saying that any one of them is, is motivated by the desire to, to keep the numbers up, but it's a machine. President Eisenhower talked about the military industrial complex. Well, what we have in America now is a prison industrial complex. That's the war on crime, the war on drugs, the war on anything that is, is intangible. It's very satisfying to represent the citizens against the government that is trying to, one way or another, put them into a cage, put them into a box, whether that box is a coffin, whether that box is a prison cell, or whether that box is simply probation. It's very satisfying to fight against the government, and it's even more satisfying to win.